Injections are the most common medical procedures, and they should be carried out in optimal conditions with full attention to safe technique in preparation and administration. In the following scenarios, keep your eyes peeled and see if you can spot violations of safe injection guidelines. Hey there, Ms. Jones. I'm gonna give you an injection. Just relax and we'll be good to go. Okay. Melissa, can you take over here? I've gotta get started on George's next case and we're running way behind. Sure thing, how much did you give her? Did you give her antibiotics yet? Uh, yep, yep, sure did. But listen, I gotta jump. George is waiting. I know, you better go. I got it from here. During that exchange, you should have noticed breaches of guidelines. If you should come across these unsafe injection techniques, you can help correct the behavior of your colleagues. Here are some of the approaches you can use. Hey there, Miss Jones. How you doing? I'm gonna give you a quick injection, so just relax. Okay. Melissa, can you take over here? I've gotta get started on George's next case. We're running way behind. Sure thing. How much did you give her? Did you give her antibiotics yet? Uh, yep, yeah, sure did. Can I speak to you for a sec? Yeah. Hey, Stephen, um, I just noticed the syringes are unlabeled. We could easily confuse which syringe contains what drug or solution. Besides, we wouldn't want to take these to the next patient. We should get a brand new set and label them. If you want, I'll look after Ms. Jones and you can draw up the solutions and meds in the new syringes and I'll get the labels. Okay, yeah, that's great, thanks. Here, the nurse gently asks the resident to step aside to speak in private. This avoids embarrassment in front of other staff and the patient. In addition, she minimized the confrontational nature of the situation by making the corrective action a team effort. She showed her support and nicely avoided putting personal blame on the resident. Now, let's return to our scenario and assume that the resident has made it out of the patient's room with his appropriately filled and pre-labeled syringes. Let's watch to see how you can handle this breach of guidelines. Hey, Steve. How are things going, busy? Uh, yeah, just trying to get to the next case. Yeah, I thought it might be. Just saw you rushing in between cases and carrying syringes in your pocket. Oh, oh, these? Yeah, it's probably not a good idea to carry them in your pocket, even if they do have labels. Besides, you're not using the same ones between patients, are you? You know it's not safe, right? Um... Tell you what, which cases are you going to next? Oh, OR2. Why don't you go to the satellite pharmacy and get a new set? I'll get rid of those and I'll let them know you're on your way. Okay. All right. Hey, thanks. Here, the colleague spotted inappropriate transportation of filled syringes. He again spoke to the resident in private. He politely pointed out the unsafe nature of carrying filled syringes in clothing and made sure the other resident was not going to reuse syringes between patients. He spoke up and reminded him to go back to the pharmacy to obtain a new set of medications and solutions. Of course, some people are going to react poorly when confronted. So, how should you handle someone who persists with unsafe injection techniques and ignores safety guidelines? Take a look. Hi there. I just noticed that you went from patient to patient using the same filled syringe. Um, and did you leave these vials on that bench over there? I know what you're saying. I'm in a rush and I'm just pushing a little bit of midazolam into each patient. I'm not even drawing back. Besides, I've been doing this for 10 years and I've never had a problem. Well, I'm glad you've not had problems, but I just want to remind you to play it safe. Contaminated fluid can flow back in the syringe and you not see it, even if you're being careful. I mean, you don't want this to be the one to land you in the newspapers. I can help you get extra meds. Look, I've been doing this for a long time and I know how to avoid cross-contamination between patients and my patients don't get into problems. I don't think it's safe, but I'll make sure the charge nurse knows and I'll make a note of your special protocol. All right, all right, I'll get a new set of meds. Clearly, the nurse's excuses are weak. You can't make the claim that your unsafe techniques haven't caused problems because complications often occur much later. However, if this argument does not sway your colleague, a firm reminder that you are making note of their unsafe practices can have the desired effect. Sometimes, 
Despite your encouragement and intervention, providers will use other excuses to circumvent safe and appropriate practices. In the interest of patient safety, it may be necessary to notify your supervisors. Most hospitals have anonymous reporting systems via phone or by online submission process. As you see, you can help to establish a culture of safe injections at your workplace. Educate your peers by example and always perform injections according to safe injection guidelines. You can ask questions and help stop potential unsafe injection practices when you notice the following. Multiple unlabeled syringes. Inappropriate methods of transporting medications or filled syringes. More than the expected number of single-use medication vials. Combining leftover or reusing of half-empty vials of medication or flush. Medications being prepared or reconstituted outside the pharmacy in violation of safe procedures. Failure to wipe down the diaphragm of vials or solutions with disinfectant. These signs may indicate inappropriate reuse of single-use vials and potential contamination. Healthcare is increasingly complex. Many problems arise from omission of basic safety rules and the numbers are growing. You can help ensure the safety of your patients and the workplace by practicing safe injection techniques. Refer to the infection control policies at your local institution. Furthermore, there are many other online resources. However, you can help right now by being vigilant. If you notice unsafe injection practice, confront your colleagues and notify your supervisor. You are responsible, and the health of your patients is in your hands.